guys, thank you for hanging around and, and spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I told Jerem, I'm like, this kind of sucks. Make me go after Gordon. I mean, the guy's like, he's so easy to listen to. He's somebody that I've respected for, for so, so long. And, uh, and, and I hope that, that I can bring even just a little bit of value compared to, to what he just brought you. Um, a lot of great memories of going to his courses over the year. I have the opportunity maybe eight or 10 years ago to go on a, on a Harley Davidson ride with Gordon and, and spend a weekend with him. And, um, you know, he shows up in khakis and a button down and he's just cruising on his Harley. That's what many people don't know about him is he rides Harleys. He's, he's just the most down to earth guy you'd ever meet. And so, um, an honor, an honor to be able to, to, to share a little bit of time with you. So, um, I'm going to shift gears a little bit. You know, the, the things that, that we're going to talk about for the next hour are the things that for me really get me excited. They're the things I'm most passionate about. For those that, that don't know me, I am a, a dentist in Phoenix, Arizona uh, with a focus in cosmetics. It wasn't always that way. You know, I was a, a general dentist that loved to do cosmetic dentistry. In about three years, everything like completely changed. And, and it's all I do now. And so I can... I can show up to work every day and truly do the dentistry that I love. I never thought that that would be a possibility. And I'm here to tell you that, that it's possible for everybody watching. And it's just because of what's happening in the world today. Technology is changing everything. You know, you have the ability right now, tonight, to decide what kind of dentistry you'd love to do. And I'm going to show you how you can do more of that. I'm going to show you how you can truly say, okay, no, starting in one month from now, I'm going to work these days and I'm going to do these procedures. And then if you follow the process and the steps, and if you follow kind of these principles, you can go do that. I mean, that's the, that's the world we live in today. And so, you know, if, if you don't believe that, then hang in there with me. Hopefully by the time we're done here, you have a, a better understanding of, of what it is that, that we're talking about here. So the secret I'm going to share with you right now Right off the bat, we're going to talk about, you know, what the secret is to double your case acceptance, to double your production, to, to truly do more of the dentistry that you love to do. You have to get more patients in the chair that are wanting to do elective procedures. Okay. And I know that may seem obvious. It may seem like a no brainer, but that's, that's the secret. You know, you just need to know how to get more of those ideal patients in your chair so you can do more high dollar cases, more productive procedures and serve more people. The, the issue usually becomes, how do you do that? Now, how, do you, how do you do that without just working longer days and more hours? How do you refine that search and only attract the right types of patients? And it's 100% in how you go about bringing them into your practice. So, the sales cycle in dentistry, you know, the, the way that we've always practiced, each and every one of us, it's broken. It is not an efficient model. It's all we've ever known. And so it's just what we continue to do because we don't know any different. And so give me permission here to, to maybe help you see things a little bit differently and, and show you how by shifting just a few things in how you operate your business, you can, can start seeing more of, of those types of patients in your practice. So, and this is something that I share this exact same concept with my patients, because it's true. After years of doing this, I've been in practice 16 years now, um, unique family. My dad's a dentist. My older brother's a dentist. My younger brother's a dentist. My youngest brother's a dental lab tech. My father-in-law's a dentist. I mean, it's all I've ever known. And, and so I, I grew up around it. I grew up around in a time when this first cosmetic revolution in the, in the 90s impacted my dad in a major way where he went from being a general dentist to doing more cosmetic dentistry. And I saw him get this passion again for dentistry and, and what we do. And the same things that applied to him then apply to us now. The difference now is we're living this second cosmetic revolution, but it's like 10x what, what it was in the 90s. And we'll talk about why in, in a minute. But just like back then, today, patients coming into your office specifically for elective procedures want to know, can you help me? You know, can I trust you to do this work? What are my options? How does it work? Like, what's the process? And 
what's it going to cost? So nothing's changed. It's what every patient wants to know. And when you look at what we do as dentists, if you think of just like, take the, take the title of dentist off and think of it just from a purely a business standpoint. We spend thousands of dollars every month in marketing efforts and we market to patients. It could be mailers, it could be SEO, it could be AdWords, it could be magazine ads. Some of you are doing billboards. Um, some are doing a lot of Facebook and Instagram ads, even word of mouth programs like in office referral programs, those still cost money because you're usually giving a, a $50 referral credit to the person who referred and, and, um, and the new patient that comes in. The point is you're spending all of this money and what's the call to action? Where are you sending these people? Most of the time you're sending to a phone call. You're sending them to the phone and the people answering the phone are amazing. They're, they're great employees. They, they have our best interest in mind, but they're usually $14, $15 an hour employees that are answering the phone that aren't fully trained in phone sales. And this isn't me dissing them. It's the hardest job in the practice, I believe. And if you don't believe that as doctors, um, you know, I was teasing my, my staff one time and they said, okay, here at lunch, you're going to answer the phones for an hour. I want you to see how it goes. And it was awful. It was brutal. I mean, the questions that, that I got asked, I couldn't even answer half of them. And so it's not an easy position for anyone. And the point is we're sending all of our leads to that. 40% of the time statistics show phones don't get answered in a dental office because office is closed, lines are busy, people are at lunch, you know, 40% of the time doesn't get answered. If it does get answered now, that person on the phone has to handle the call appropriately. Let's say everything goes great. Now, just the, the idea of a patient showing up for an appointment sometimes can be an issue. People don't show up. Kids get sick, people get called into work, people forget. You know, you, you know this, it's, it's your no-shows and cancellations. It happens to all of us. Let's say they do show up. Now we have to go in the room and connect with these patients. We have zero relationship. You know, we, they're meeting us for the first time. We're meeting them. And within a matter of minutes, we're leaning them back and, and looking in their mouth and telling them all these things that are wrong and, and what it's going to cost to fix it. You know, that, that alone is really difficult. Even for those that are really good at connecting with people, sometimes you miss the mark and you don't connect. If you do connect, now you got to talk options. Now you have to present treatment options. Now you have to try to get in the head of the patient that you've only known for 30, 40 minutes and try to present something that you think that they're going to want. And usually at that point, we put them with somebody else in a different room and that person's giving them treatment options printed out. If you're lucky and you're doing things right, it's in a nice little folder with your logo on it. But it's, it's all being done by a treatment coordinator and it's done usually without the spouse present. And so you've just gone through this whole process. Some of you are doing these two hour new patient, you know, these big extravagant visits, you go through all of it, you give a $10,000 treatment plan, a $20,000, a $5,000, even a $2,500 treatment plan that is done on a piece of paper. And now they have to take it home to their spouse and try to explain why it's necessary that they get the work done that, that you recommended. We forget in dentistry, our fees compared to any other healthcare business out there are way more expensive. And what I mean by that is you can, I can say LASIK surgery, I can say rhinoplasty, I can say tummy tuck, uh, augmentation, um, any type of, of elective procedure in cosmetics or in healthcare, and I bet if we took a, a poll right now, most of you could get within $1,000 of the, what the procedure actually costs. Yet we have these procedures that are 25,000 in arch, 30,000 in arch for, for all in four cases, you know, full mouth cases at 50,000, even some things that we think are like simple production on oh, Invisalign, oh, it's only six grand, that's $6,000. That's a lot of money. Like what, what for us is simple, is like the most expensive thing that some plastic surgeons do. And so to, to put new patients through this entire process and have all these different areas where people fall out of the sales cycle, present everything, and then have them go home and try to convince the spouse or, or even just explain to the spouse, it's a, an extremely inefficient process. 
And so that's why most offices, national average, 30 to 50% case acceptance on elective treatment, okay? Um, I saw Debbie raise her hand with questions. That's a good point. At the, what I'm gonna do at the very end, I will answer questions and I'll make sure we finish on time so I can answer them. Um, my ADHD will kick in. If I answer one before we know it, like I'll, I won't even finish my presentation. So I'll get, we'll leave the last like 10 to 15 minutes and I'll dive into all the questions. So that's our sales cycle. That's what we do in dentistry. When you think about it compared to the world we live in, where everybody wants things now, you can order food now from your phone. I can order dinner right now and it'll be here before this is over. You know, you hail an Uber from your phone. Everything is done immediate. Yet we expect patients to take time off work, drive across town, spend two hours with us, pay us, go through all this just to figure out what their options are when it comes to elective procedures. Mark Cuban puts it best. If you want to see success in business, make your product easier to buy than your competition. Because if you don't, you're going to find that people are going to be buying from them and not you. And so the key is all these barriers that we put up, take them down, you know, make it easier for people to do business with you. So a better way, and, and it's something that, that I stumbled upon three years ago, and it's something that I'm passionate about and that I teach you know, every single day now is send them through a different cycle. Take all those leads, take what you're doing in marketing, take everything you're doing now, but instead of sending them th through this whole process just to tell them the one thing they want to know and then to do it without the spouse present, funnel all those leads first to video so that you can connect with patients before they step foot in your office, build a relationship, let them know who you are, let them get an idea of the type of dentistry you do. And I'll walk, I'll walk through some, some strategies that you can use to, to do this. But if you do this before they come in to see you, 90% case acceptance. Okay. And I know this is where people start to push back a little bit, you know, wait, how do you, how do you diagnose? How are you quoting fees? You know, it starts to get a little uncomfortable right about now. Don't worry about that. We'll get into that. The point is, if you knew that every patient that came in to see you for a new patient exam that was in your chair, if you knew they'd already got a video from you that went over some of their options, that went over a ballpark on cost, that went over all these different things, and they actually showed up to their appointment, you know they are bought in. They're moving forward to the treatment. Now it's just a matter of figuring out the details, okay? That is, that is the secret. That is what's changing, not just dentistry, but every industry out there. When, when I close this presentation, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you a recent article in Forbes magazine that hits point for point, all these things that we're gonna be talking about. The industries out there right now that are just crushing it and that are really growing fast are the ones that are using technology to connect with customers before they meet with them in person, okay? Now, with that being said, teledentistry does not work, okay? Teledentistry in our profession, doesn't work. I think it's the biggest waste of time. And what I mean by that is the traditional medical teledentistry model of like this, this is live, right? It took me, I had to like figure out the login, I had to log in, couldn't get the video to work. I, you know, you guys had to log in to, to watch this. That's, that's live video, that's teledentistry. That model in dentistry, that's not an efficient way to run a business because now we still have to do what we would do in the practice. We have to take the time and now do it via video. And now there's technology issues. People can still no show. There's all these things that can come up and we only can charge patients when we're doing actual procedures to, to charge somebody $60 for a teledentistry visit and spend 40 minutes with them going back and forth. No, please. That's not, that's not an efficient use of our time. So teledentistry doesn't work, but virtual consults do. And I'll explain the difference, but there, there is a big difference. You know, one is you record when you have time, they watch it when they have time. There's no friction. It's very easy. It's very quick. You automate the process where a lot of it's pre-recorded, and, and I'll show you how to do it. But virtual consults. Okay. So don't, you know, people get stuck. Well, I'm gonna, I don't want to give people my time. What if what if they end up not moving forward with treatment? And so they, they try to charge them $40 or $50 for that visit. 
you know, don't, don't step over a dollar or don't step over, you know, a hundred bucks to pick up a dollar, give people five minutes of your time, let them see what's possible, but do it pre-recorded so that you can save time and, and do it when you have time in between patients before your day at the end of the day. Okay. Let's get clear on a few things. This is not a dental exam done virtually. This isn't like, like, I think the most inefficient way you can do this is white coat, you know, like, Hey, this is Dr. Harris, like all dental talk, 15 minutes of explaining malocclusion. And no, you're, you're going to have more success just being you. Hey, it's Dr. Harris. You know, I'm just wrapping up at the end of the day. I only have a couple minutes. I've got to go pick up my daughters from dance, but I just wanted to take a minute and just introduce myself and share with you a couple different options based on what you sent me. I've got some ideas for you. You know, here they are. You know, I would love to work with you when you're ready. You know, we do things differently at our office. Here's the next steps. Click on the buttons below. It's, it's going to get you in scheduled to see us. And, you know, here's a rough idea of what it costs. But hey, you know, it, when you're ready, there's no rush. You know, we're, we're here for you. Boom. You know, Pre-recorded. Send when they have time. That's, that's how you build trust. That's how you get people to want to do business with you. So it's not a virtual dental exam. It's connecting. It's building trust. It's communication. And if some of you hate doing that and you're not good at it, great. Then, then you teach one of your team members that's really good at it to do it and they can do it for you. This is not treatment planning diagnosis, okay? That's usually the, the next hand that goes up. I have people sometimes that will submit consults and it's, it's a photo like 80 feet away. You can't even tell if they even have teeth, much less like what their smile looks like or if they need implants or what, it doesn't matter. You know, I, what you don't wanna do is say, I need you to send another photo, no. Get on click a few buttons, it'll pre-populate a presentation for you. Then you get on and say, hey, you know, photo's a little far away. I can't actually see your smile, but that's okay. Let me tell you about who we are. Let me tell you what we do. Let me share some examples of a few people we've worked on just like you. Let me show you what their results look like. And then when you're ready, we'd love to see you. Click on one of the buttons below, okay? So it's, it's a different process that you can't diagnose and treatment plan without somebody in your chair. This is what gets them in the chair. The difference now is that every single person that sits in your chair, they are ready to buy. They're ready to move forward. The key is how do you fill this funnel with these leads so you can sift through these leads and only be seeing people that are pre-qualified and ready. Okay, virtual consults. Let me check my time to make sure I don't break any promises. Okay, good. Um, think of it this way. Think of, think of the ability to sit down and have multiple different videos pre-recorded. You know, one may be porcelain veneers, okay? It's what I do in my practice. One may be all on four, you know, zirconia versus acrylic. One may be um, ortho versus Invisalign. But you taking some time on a Friday, using your laptop and just recording a few videos of, of hey, let me walk you through the porcelain veneer process. This is how it works. These are the type of results you can expect. This is roughly what it costs taking time to, to educate patients on things, but having those all ready to go. And the ability to just go grab those and send them with the, with the quick personalized message or the ability to, to send a welcome video of, hey, I am looking forward to seeing you next week. I saw your schedule for a new patient exam, uh, switching dentists. Uh, you're gonna see we do things very differently at our office. You know, it's, it's hopefully something that, that you feel is valuable. We're excited to see if you have any other questions before you come in, reach out, we're here for you. Okay, so it's automating this communication process. Why? Studies show video is way more effective at communicating. It's way more effective in building relationships, building trust, and creating an emotional connection. Okay, people do business with people. You know, they, they want to connect with, with somebody on the other end. You know this. How many times have you sent a, a text to a spouse meaning one thing and, and they take it as something else? How many times have, have you tried to communicate something and you're like, oh, I sound like a jerk. I, I can't say it that way. Or, you know, are they going to take this the wrong way? Video is such a better way to communicate. Uh, the coolest thing is now, I, I call this waiting versus creating. The waiting game in dentistry is, is what we all play. You look at the schedule at the start of the month. Okay, how much is pre-scheduled? All right, we're, you know, 50,000 still away from goal. All right, how many new patients do we have? And then you see a new patient come in, you get excited, you go and look at it. And you see, you look to see if they need anything. Is it a cosmetic consult or is it just like a, 
um, you know, a six month checkup, we are at the mercy of the schedule. Our success totally depends on whether or not the phone's gonna ring. So that's waiting. The other way of doing things is, is creating. You create the visibility, you get in front of more people, you let them see who you are and you drive the leads. And, and that is, that's how you ramp up quickly. That's how you start doing more of the procedures you love. And that's how you bring on associates to do the other work. Or that's how you all, you know, make, make all of you in the practice busier is just by getting in front of more people. That's the game. Yeah, that's everything in marketing. It's just getting eyeballs on what you do as a company so that more people want to work with you. The video allows you to do that. Okay. Just a quick thought there, you know, imagine a patient coming in for a consult and they do have, let's say it is a $30,000 treatment plan. Instead of sending them home with a printout and expecting them to communicate with the spouse, you know, what if you send a video to both of them? What does that look like? And, and it's not just the spouse watching it. What if, what if the sister-in-law is there also? What if the grandparents are there watching it? It's not just a matter of getting in front of someone. It's a matter of when it's video and it lives in video, it can get in front of multiple people. You, know, you never know like how far your reach really is. Okay. We just talked about this. Now you get in front of a spouse or financial decision maker without ever meeting them in person. Okay. So Sally comes in, she needs, she needs extensive work. It's 30 grand. Instead of sending her home with that treatment plan, it's, it's a video saying, Sally, it was great to see you today. You know, I know we talked about a lot in that short period of time. So I wanted to put together the photos from our visit. I wanted to sit down and just record this and send this to you and let you know that I can help you. And so let's go through the photos. Now you're going through, you're speaking to Sally, but who are you really speaking to? Whoever's watching it with them, whoever's helping them pay for it, whoever's deciding with them. And so it's, it's now something that, that lives forever that they can go and watch multiple times instead of just a quick gibberish of dental knowledge, you know, coming at them and they're expected to retain all of it and then spit it back out to, to whoever's at home. Okay. You now have full control of the sales process. Okay. What I mean by that is when you are presenting treatment via video, you can organize your thoughts. You can organize it in a way that you can say what you want to say. And if you mess up, you stop and you record again. So you control the sales process. You control the narrative. And, and for those that are starting to think, this is so much time. No, if it's done right, you know, and, and use the right platform to do it, it's just clicking buttons, pre-populating a presentation, sitting down, sharing some thoughts, and it gets sent off. So you control that sales process with the strong call to action underneath of, hey, when you're, when you're done watching this, you've got two options below. You know, click on this button to get scheduled, or you can click on this button if you have any other questions. You know, when, when you're ready, we're here for you. Okay, it's, it's, it's a huge piece of the success is just knowing, knowing what to say, knowing how to say it, knowing when to say it. Biggest thing though is leverage your time. You know, I, I realized this early on when I started doing video consults, I was saying the same stuff every single time my consults were 12 minutes long and like eight to 10 of the 12 minutes is all the same stuff. So finally I'm like, you know, what if I just recorded one video that was eight to 10 minutes long of all the stuff I normally say, but do it really well. And what if I just came on there and said, Hey, before I get to, you know, what I'm going to recommend for you personally, I just wanted to share a quick thought of, of who you are and what we do and, and, and give you a better understanding of the process. And, and, and at the end of that video, say, okay, now that if you watch this, you're going to see a link below, go ahead and click on that. And that's going to be more personalized information for you. So now the eight to 10 minutes you record once and it gets sent off with every consult. Now your consults are two minutes long. And that's how you leverage time. The, the, if you can understand how to leverage time, now it's just a matter of getting in front of more people. Now it's just a matter of, of turning on your marketing efforts and, and then just, you know, seeing more and more people. Um, this is another good one. Money is, it's a weird thing for us to talk about. You know, I feel like I'm pretty comfortable talking to patients yet when they're in my chair and they ask, okay, so what does it cost? Sometimes I just get that feeling of where I like, I just want to run away. And so usually we point to our system and say, oh, they're going to go over all the fees or 
the treatment coordinator is going to go over all that and we're, we're gone. And, you know, when you stop and think about the person in the relationship, doctor, patient, team member, who has the most trust of the patient is the doctor. They trust you the most. You're, you're the provider they're coming to see. You're going to be the one doing the work. It's just really uncomfortable sometimes having money conversations when somebody's right in front of you. Um, I'll tell you, it's very different having a money conversation via video, especially when it's pre-recorded, because you can't see somebody. If you mess up, you can say it again in a different way. You can use an image to show what things are going to cost, but then you can also quickly on there have payment options, financing options. You can you can control that conversation much easier. So it makes it very very easy to have money conversations. Okay. Um, one, uh, one little tip that I use when I'm doing this is, you know, I have these phrases that I like to use that kind of open the conversation. So when I talk about money, it's usually something along the lines of, hey, listen, my goal is to help you get exactly what you want and do it in a way that's comfortable for what you want to spend. And so we're going to talk about different options. And if we start to get to a place where it's, it's more than you want to spend, just let me know, you know, then we can tailor back to something that's, that's more comfortable. So just that, just the idea of breaking down that barrier about money early on and letting them know like, Hey, if it starts to get expensive, speak up so they can give you other options. You'd be shocked at how far that goes. You know, it's, it's, it's now giving them permission to talk about money without being embarrassed. Okay. So that's, that's usually what I tell every single one of my patients you know, this is great. I'm going to share this stuff with you now because you can't talk back to me. I don't really have an idea of what your budget is. So it almost gives you permission, right? You know, because you don't know what their budget is, they're not there, they haven't told you. It almost gives you permission to talk about it all because you can say in the video, because you're not here and I don't really know what your budget is, I don't want to just make a guess at that. I'm just going to tell you all your options. You think them through and whatever you feel is, is, is best for you, then, then we can talk about that when you come in to see me. Okay, it's pretty powerful stuff, guys. I know I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to stuff, but I, the more you do it, the more you realize that you compare all this. So compare what we're talking about now to the way it's currently done. They're there. They know nothing. You know nothing. You're trying to figure it out. They're trying to like, am I going to get screwed here? Is it going to be too much? Can I afford this? Is not? And then they're just getting a sheet of paper and where do their eyes always go? Boom, right bottom line. So that's how it goes now. Like you can keep doing that if you want. But my suggestion is sometimes it's not about the money. It's about like, they just need time to process it. They need time to like think it through. And if you can present it in the right way, you'll get a lot more people that will say yes. Okay. So I, I will pause here and take a couple of questions, but I first need everybody to to understand, so we're we're about halfway through. This is perfect because we're six, we're at seven thirty. Um, we're about halfway through. The rest of this, I'm going to show you. Like, hopefully, now you understand that there's power in using video to pre-qualify your patients, to prepare your patients, to give them an idea of who you are, to build trust, to let them see options, to break down all these barriers of communication before people come in. If you if you don't see the value in that now, then message me directly and let's have a conversation offline because that is the most important piece of being successful in this new way of doing business, okay? If we can all see that and recognize that there is value there, next I wanna show you, okay, how do you get more leads into this funnel so you can start recording more of these virtual consults for people? But before I do that, let's go up to some questions here. Sorry, my... Okay, this is good. So it says some say not to compete on price in order to differentiate yourself. Your opinion, please. Okay, I think there's two ways to compete in dentistry, and you can be successful at both. Um, sorry, guys, my mouse is like possible to see. Okay. So two ways to compete on price. You either want to be the cheapest in town or you want to be the most expensive. What I mean by that is you either lower your fees 
$59 exam x-rays and cleaning, $39 exam x-rays and cleaning. You're giving away free whitening. You're either lowering your fees or you're providing more value. Okay, so let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, here's a good example. Anybody remember Groupon? So we decided to do Groupon back in the day and, and we were like, yeah, let's do it. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's talking about it. And we got like a ton of patients. I think we got a hundred patients from it. Every single patient that came in, they never wanted to do anything. They didn't want to move forward with treatment. They didn't do anything we recommended. And we were so pissed. We thought like, man, that didn't work. And the more we thought of it, we we're like, well, yeah, no, it, no crap. It didn't work. Like you just marketed to a bunch of people that bought something because it was massively discounted. Those aren't the people that are going to be paying for elective procedures. So you just attracted a whole lot of people that you don't want to be treating, in my opinion. Okay. So you, but if you are, let's say you're two doctors in town and you're both doing porcelain veneers at $1,500 a piece and you want to compete against each other. The option is either this one over here to do it for a thousand a piece. And now this one's at 1500. And so maybe this is going to get more patients or the option is this one over here provide more value. Now, what does that mean? What if the person over here kept their fee at 1500, but they did free virtual consults. Okay. You want to know what's possible? Upload a photo. Tell me what you want to change. I'll let you know your options and I'll send it back to you. You don't even have to pay me to do it. I'll give you my time because I just, I want to help you see if, if, if we're a good fit for, for what you're looking for. What if you did free virtual consults? What if you offered, um, what if you offered a night guard at the end of every, you know, big case to protect your, your, your work long-term? What if you offered a five-year warranty on everything that you do? Now, now that's more value. So now it's not even 1500 versus 1500 because it's not the same thing. This person over here is doing virtual consults. They, they're warranting their work. They're doing all these things. And so that's how you win on value or you just continue to lower your price. I don't believe that that model is one that we should be chasing. You know, it's one of the things that I've learned from Dental Intel, man, Jerem came and, and spoke at one of our mastermind events. And he, they have this report now that they print out for you that basically is like, hey, here's all the areas where you're missing opportunity to grow your business. And of course, like me and my ignorance, I'm like, we're doing pretty well. Like, I'm sure we'll find some things, but I'll tell you what, like I read the report and was like, we are, our fees are way low in all these procedures. We're not doing all these things that we should be doing out of hygiene. We, I mean, within, within a matter of one month, I think we increased our monthly production by like $15,000 by doing nothing else, but just making a couple of changes based on what they recommended. So sometimes it's just, it's just understanding the numbers and in providing, providing more value. So that was a long way of like answering that question, but hopefully that, um, that helped to answer it. Um, let me go through these here. Um, I'll take a couple more and then we'll keep going. Hey, what's up, Amy? Um, thank you, Janet. Okay, uh, Scott says, what app or communication software do you use to record or communicate with the patient? I'm, I'm biased. I use Smile Virtual, but it's also the platform that I created. And so I don't, um, I'm not going to go into all the details of that now. If you want information, um, I'll give you an email at the very end, reach out. I want to use the time just to provide a ton of value, but I'm biased. I think it's the best platform out there because, you know, because I created it, right? But, but because it's, it's used by, by dentists all over the world. And it's, it's the one that that's less of a teledentistry platform and more of a treatment communication, case acceptance, treatment conversion platform. You know, if you want to just be doing teledentistry, you know, I'll give you, I'll give you the list of five, five companies you can use just like what we're doing now for free and, and get, get online and talk to patients. What I think you'll recognize though, is there's nothing cooler than being able to give advice, record a video, send it, and like not ever have to talk to somebody until they're actually in your office. It's, it's the best because you still get to serve people the highest level. They get a ton of value because you're helping them. You're helping answer questions. It doesn't take much time. And, you know, it's, 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 it continues to expand. It's not just a consult sent and one person views it. Multiple people are viewing it. That's how you grow your brand 
as a virtual dentist. That's how you start doing more of that type of stuff in, in your community. Okay, let's keep going. The mouse is like, there we go. Okay, so the idea now is to take these, fun, take these leads and put them into the funnel, okay? Sorry, let me, my, I can't see my mouse on the screen and so I'm like in the, there we go. Guys, I usually don't have tech, technology issues. All right, we're gonna go with it. Um, so if you think of, if you think of Smile Virtual or if you think of whatever video recording platform you're using, however you're doing it, think of that as like the conversion piece of the funnel. Okay, most dental software platforms out there teach you all about like how to manage the patients once they're in the practice. This is more like how to manage all these leads before they ever come in so that you can have those relationships. So when they do come into the practice, they're converting more. They're bought in, they're referring patients to you. It's, it's like the conversion tool. So now let's talk about how to drive more people into that funnel. And to do that, you have to understand secret number one, the value of social proof. Okay, social proof is not social media. I don't believe social media works. Social proof is showing people who you are, what you do, and, and giving them a, a reason to want to reach out. Okay, this is social media. If you want to do team photos, if you want to post patient of the month, if you want to post pictures of your team doing zoom whitening or give away a toothbrush, uh, flossing memes, jokes, great, do that. That's social media. That's great. It's funny. I don't think that gets people to pick up the phone and to call. I don't think that gets people to click on a button and submit a virtual console. It's, it feels good, but it's not a converter. Social proof is different. Social proof is, hey, here's who I am. Here's what I'm really good at. And here's some people that I've treated just like you. That's the easiest way I can explain it. Okay, so the difference though, you need to understand the difference between a brand. So my brand is Harris Dental, my company brand. My brand is Dr. Brian Harris. The difference of a company brand and a website versus social proof in a personal brand is that people do business with people. Okay? Company brand, Harris Dental. For somebody to find me on my Harris Dental website, they have to search it. They have to then sift through all the sponsored ads versus, versus good, you know, actual organic listings. Then they have to click on my website. Then they have to click on Meet Us. Then they have to click on the doctors. Then they have to click on Dr. Brian Harris. Then they have to scroll down, click on before and afters. They're like nine clicks into a website before they even get to see what I do. Okay, personal brand and social proof is they're, you know, they're waiting to board an airplane and scrolling on social media. It just pops up in front of them and they click one time, boom, they see your page. They see who you are. They see what you do. You know, Dr. So-and-so, you know, amazing orthodontist in, in Salt Lake City. These are all the cases. These are all the people they treated. And there's a direct line of communication where you just click a button and ask, and ask them a message or ask them a question. Okay. It's the easiest way to get in front of more people and to build open communication. The reason I believe that each of you should be branding your dental practice as your personal brand, meaning, you know, have your own page that's Dr. Brian Harris, that's Dr. Jane Smith, whatever it may be, because people do business with people. We know this because we have a Harris Dental Instagram account. We may get two or three times a month, somebody send a direct message asking about something dental related where all five doctors within my practice get messages every single day, multiples throughout the day asking questions because it's a personal connection, personal communication. Um, I don't believe websites are nearly as effective as social media, you know, and, and it's, that's not just my opinion. You know, people are saying it all over. Websites are dead. You know, things are changing. It's just not the same. So I'll keep it really simple. Choose three categories. Make a folder on your desktop that says patient testimonials, clinical cases, uh, personal or family. And just as you gather stuff, if you see something, screenshot it, start putting it in those folders. 
and then you just gather it and then you just post. If you want to post and have it line up like I do, great. Do a post, a post, and then do a before and after. That's the secret. And then every day, those before and afters will all stay in a line and they'll switch from one column to the next to the next, but just follow the same posting pattern. And, and the key, we don't have enough time to go over. I mean, that's a full like two hour presentation on like how to really dominate the game in social media. But that's the, the these are the simple, simple ways to do it. Okay. Gather content, post on social media, post things that patients want to see. Don't post these pictures. Okay. Don't post fully retracted bloody gums. Don't post the stuff that your colleagues think is cool, unless you want to just have more dental friends that think you're cool. Post things that patients are going to want to see and that are going to have them engage in, and ask questions. Before and after cases, um, it's, I mean, it's just a great way to show the type of work you do. And, and I, I guess the advice I would give here is don't be so hard on yourself. You know, many of you aren't posting because you're like, it doesn't look good, you know, or I don't want to be judged by my peers. I went through that exact same thing. I mean, you don't think I get judged now. If you don't follow me on social media, follow me. Look at some of the cases I post. Look how bright they are. Look how big they are. It's a totally patient driven process. I just give patients exactly what they want. But you don't think I get judged for some of that stuff that gets posted? You know, I don't care. If it's going to lead to more consults coming in and the ability for me to, to serve more people and change lives, I'll do that. You know, so stop, stop worrying so much about what other people think. Personal family life. This is different for everybody. Some of you, you know, have a family that you want to get involved in the process. Other people like want to keep it private. If you don't want to include family pictures in there, then do hobbies, not biking, horseback riding, running, whatever you do, the goal is like have people see you as a human because that's what's going to break down those barriers and, and have them want to connect with you. Uh, patient testimonials. The best way to do this, I will tell you right now, every time a patient in my office asks for a discount, absolutely, I'll give it to you. You know, I, I'll give a 10% discount all the time. However, what I'm going to ask you in return is to post a testimonial on social media to tag me in it in a photo when you're smiling and record a one minute video testimonial that I can use on social media or on my website. If you're willing to do that, I'll gladly give you a 10% discount because that guys, that's like word of mouth on steroids. They post something on their page and tag me and they talk about their experience. You know, word of mouth is the best way to get referrals. We all know that. But the old way of word of mouth was like one person talking to another at dinner. Oh, you don't have a dentist. You should see mine. They're great. Good. They come in to see you. We love those patients because they come in already like trusting you. This is like Cindy posts and is like, my dentist is amazing. If you don't have a dentist, go and see them. Boom. 2000 people see that. Okay. They click on the page, then they click on your page. Now they're in con connecting with you and they're coming in as a potential patient. Okay. My, my advice to you is when they reach out and say, Hey, do you do Invisalign? Do not say we do. Here's my number, 602-955-8600. Call the office, come in for a consult. Why? Why don't we do that? Hey, you just put them through the old sales cycle. Now they've got a call. Now they got to answer the call. Now they got to show up. They got, don't do that. They reached out to you. Hey, you know what? Yeah, we do. You know, we, we treat a lot of cases, actually. I've got some sample cases I can send to you. And if you want to keep it really simple, just click the link in my bio. You know, there's, there's a landing page here where you can upload a smile photo tell me what you want to change and I'll get back to you. I'll even record a video and send it to you and, and it'll go over your options. I'll even give you a cost breakdown of what it's going to cost. And you can decide um, like when you're ready to move forward. And, and if, if you feel like it's a good fit, I'd love to work with you. Guys, this is, it's intimidating at first because it's different. It's unique. Initially, it's like, oh, the time it's going to take me to do this. You're already spending the time. You're just spending an hour of time with somebody who thought veneers were $200 or covered by insurance. You just spend an hour putting them through your whole dog and pony show to find out they can't afford it. Now, this is just different. Now it's just time spent on people that, that you want to work with and that are going to want to work with you. You got to change your mindset. Okay. Okay. This is a, this is one of my best kept secrets. And I'm, I'm giving it to you. Um, waiting versus creating. The, the, the question that usually comes up is like, shoot, I, haven't been taken before and afters. So you have two options. You wait. I don't care if you're an orthodontist watching, 
uh, a periodontist to do an all in four cases, whatever elective procedures you do, this it works the same for everything. Your option number one is wait until another good case comes in, document it really well and post it. Good luck. You're like three, four months out to do that. Okay. The second option is to say, okay, what if, what if I just created content? What if I went and said, let's come up with five patients. Team members would be a good place to start. Kids of yours, brothers, sisters, patients that are just amazing patients that are your VIPs, but they can't afford treatment. What if you went to them and said, hey, listen, we are doing something called the Confidence Project where we are documenting the transformation of five different smiles and showing the public of how a smile can totally transform like who you are as a person, how you show up personally, professionally. And so we have five spots available for it. I would love to, for you to be a part of it. Here's what I'm willing to do. I'm going to do it at half off or I'm going to do it at lab cost or whatever it is you want to do. All I ask of you is that you give me full permission to use the photos and the content. And my promise to you is that I want to make sure that you have a smile you absolutely love. 60 days and within 60 days time, now you have content for six months that you can use. The secret is take good photos, document it. Don't finish the case and realize you didn't have a before photo. So look at this, take a close up before, take a close up after, take a side view before, a side view after, a full face before, a full face after, take a photo of the veneers on the model, take a photo of the veneers on a mirror with water droplets. I don't care what you do, you know, get them to post a video testimonial, get them to post a smile photo tagging you, repost that on your page. For every single one of those patients, you can create 10 posts from one case. This is an example of Janie. Everything I just told you to do this is what we did. Okay, for her, I did it at lab fee. I wanted to do her case. She was a, like hugely instrumental in helping me like really get things off the ground and explode with growth because she shared it. She appreciated it. You know, she paid a couple thousand dollars. That couple thousand that she paid covered my lab fee. I gave the time and one case turned into like five cases, five different people in New Janie came and saw me. Then those five cases, I got to document them, turn into more cases. And it's just a snowball effect. So do that for all five patients. Okay. Now you have content for months and months. And as you start posting it, then you'll start getting more patients that come in that want to pay full fee for treatment. Okay, I'm going to keep going because we're short on time. Um, people hate to buy. You know, people hate to be sold, but they love to buy. Okay, what I mean by that, a quick story. This is my family. We go to the dunes all the time. It's the one thing that we do as a family. We love it. That's my son chilling on the Can-Am. Uh, almost 18, super cool. You know, just like he knows everything about, about driving these things, right? And he's just, he's a race car expert until he does this. So we're in the middle of nowhere. It's 10 o'clock at night. He, uh, if anybody knows him, don't ever repeat this, but he's got his girlfriend there. He's like showing off for his girlfriend, right? And he crashes it, knocks the front tire off. I got to tow this thing back and I'm, I'm bugged, but I'm like, okay, it's going to be it's going to be like a thousand bucks, 1200 bucks. Like, I'm just going to pay it. We'll be done with it. I take it in to the dealership where we've bought dirt bikes, quads, toys in the last year. I can't tell you how much we spent there. It's somebody that I trust. This is what they give back to me. Okay. You know, $3,500. Granted, I'm, I'm a dentist. I feel like I'm a successful dentist. Like, I feel like I make good money. I saw that and was like, ugh. 3,500 bucks to fix like one tire, one wheel. Something just didn't feel right to me about it. And part of it was like, I started looking at all these little things and I'm like, they're charging me a hundred bucks for a screw. They're charging. And I started to realize, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is what we do. This is what we do to our patients. I thought it was a thousand. It's 3,500. Our patients come in thinking it's a thousand. It's 5,000. And so what I did is I went home and I was like, I don't feel like, I feel like maybe I'm being taken advantage of. And so I called him, I, I, I told him to wait, not to, not to fix it. The next day I'm looking at my buddy's page. who does a lot of the off-roading stuff. He sends me, I'm like, dude, where'd you get that done? He sends me to T, TMW. I go on their page. Then I message them. I say, Hey, I've got a front wheel. It's broken. 
Like, I'm just looking for advice. You know, they want to charge 3,500 bucks. He messages me back. That sucks. It's super common. Those A-frame arms break all the time on the KMs. Listen, you can pay 3,500 and get that one wheel fixed. Or if you want to upgrade the suspension, it's like 4,200 bucks to replace everything. And it looks awesome. You know, this is what the arms look like. He's messaging me these photos and we can do this on the back shocks. And I noticed you've got the old fenders on there. Like if you want it to look really sick, we can do this. But listen, this is what we do. It's our specialty. Do what you want. Just know like we'd love to work with you. And I was like drinking the Kool-Aid. Like I was so emotionally bought in. I was pissed about spending 3,500. I want to spend $7,500 to do all this other stuff. But I'm happy I did it and I'm stoked to get it back next week. Why? Because I didn't feel like I was being sold. I was buying. I was choosing to spend the money because I felt the value that was there. I felt like these guys got me. And I promise you what's happening right now is that there's patients of yours out there that are getting quotes and they're going to social media because they're dentists everywhere on there. And they're reaching out to people they feel comfortable with. And other doctors are just giving them tons of value for free and helping them out. And you're going to lose your patience to those other people if you're not aware of this concept of providing value. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to skip through some of this. Basically the whole idea is like, Hey, new way versus old way. The, the old way was, it was a doctor driven process. You would go in, the doctor would give the patient, the treatment plan. Um, what was the quote back when I first started dentistry? Some will, some won't. So what, you know, is this idea of like a oh, full mouth treatment plans, try to get them to do quadrant or halves. And we had the authority, you know, and patients, you know, some would move forward, some wouldn't. Now everything's changed. You know, before patient didn't like a color, it was the doctor saying, no, 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 that's the best color for you. It really is. Now it's like, no, they, they have access to thousands of patients before and afters out there that they can look at and say, no, there is the ability to go brighter or there is a different shape. You can see that as a stressful or a negative thing, but if you use it as a positive and say, okay, hey, listen, I'm just here to help you. I want to give you exactly what you want. Tell me what you want. Show me examples of what you love. Like I'll help you get there. Okay. The old way. Guilt. If you don't take care of that, see this fracture line here on this amalgam. Yeah, you're going to need a crown. And if you don't do it soon enough, there's a chance the tooth could split and you can need an implant. And it was like, that's being sold. People don't love to be sold. The new way is, hey, listen, I know you're here. You took time off work. You're in my chair. You've paid to be here. Like, what do you want? What can I do to help you? Like, if everything went great and you could get exactly what you wanted, like, what do you want to do with your mouth? What do you want to do with your smile? Listen. And then this is the, the best advice I can give. Follow that up right after that with, okay, why now? You just told me you want to make all these changes. Like, why now? What's, what's so significant about now? And then just listen. You know, that's, that's, that's the type of relationship you want to create. You know, I just lost my job after, you know, working there for 12 years. Like, I got to go back on the job market and I'm not confident in my smile. You know, I just got divorced, you know, married 20 years. And now, you know, I've started my life over and I just want to feel good about myself again. You know, it's why now is a very, very powerful question. And it's not a tactic. This isn't a strategy. This isn't like a, okay, why now? And then now you're going to feast on what it is that they tell you. No, it's mean it. Just why now? How can I help you? Okay. Get rid of the tactics, get rid of the strategy, get rid of the you know, I need to go home and talk to my spouse. What one dental consultant told us one time, okay, when they tell you that, tell, tell them back, ask them, what do you think your spouse would want for you? To me, that's baloney. You know, to be using tactics to try to convince people to say yes, that we live in a different world now. You know, oh, got to go talk to your spouse. Awesome. Would it be helpful? Because I know we just went over a ton of information. Would it be helpful if I sent a video kind of recapping everything so that you don't have to try to explain all this to them? And, and you can just have him watch that video with you, you would do that, that would be amazing, okay? Get rid of the tactics. You can't convince people to want to work with you. You need to have them, you know, as, as I always say, you never want, you never want to want the sale more than they do. And you know what that feels like, doctors, to go in and feel like you've got to, 
you got to sell something or you got to convince somebody so you can get production on the books. You got to rock open on the schedule tomorrow. You don't want to be in that position in your business. You want them to want the sale more than you. You want to be able to say like, hey, here's what we can do. I would love to work with you. Let us know. We are booked out about, about two, three months in advance. But you know, when you're ready, just give us some heads up. We'll get you on the schedule. That's a powerful place to, to, to be practicing from. So last secret, become a virtual dentist. I don't care what platform you use, truly, truly. If it's Smile Virtual, fantastic. If it's another platform out there, use it. But become a virtual dentist. Connect with your patients virtually. You know, get, get out of the mindset of, I'll just wait for them to come to me. I'm the doctor. Some will, some won't. So what? No, get in the mindset of, hey, I'm here to serve as many people as I can. And I just want to work with those that want to work with me and do comprehensive dentistry. Become a virtual dentist. Really what it means is you're making it very, very easy for people to do business with you. Like Mark Cuban quote at the beginning, when you make it difficult for people to do business with you, what I mean by that is making them call, making them come in, not giving them answers over the phone, not giving them anything, do, making them jump through all these hoops to get their questions answered. You know, when other doctors are out there making it really easy, you're going to lose business. You're going to lose business to those that are making it easy. Okay. Um, I, I'll paraphrase the Forbes article. Basically, you can go and look it up, but look up this article, you know, the, the way the sales process is changing and how to adapt. Basically, it says everything that we just talked about. You know, selling is helping. Start serving people. You know, believe in your product yourself. You know, more touch points. The more people see who you are and what you do, the more people are going to buy from you. That means put your link on Instagram, put your link on Facebook, put it on your website, put, put all these gathering points out there where you can impact people. When they click on it, then the virtual consults will come to you. That's, that's the way to get in front of more people. Um, but use social media, create the content, put it out there, let people see who you are and what you do. If you're, if you're counting on those before and afters from 12 years ago to still be able to, to sell dentistry for you on your website that nobody's looking at and they can't see, you're, you're never going to do this type of dentistry. Get out of your own way, get uncomfortable, get on social media. If you don't want to do it, pay somebody on your team a couple hundred bucks a month to do it for you and then, and then just do it and just be real, be authentic, okay? And just you know, look for individualized care. Look to connect with people individually, make them feel special, make them, make them feel like you really do care about them as a person, okay? So the true secret to doing more of this type of dentistry, stop doing this, start doing this, and that is all I got, and I am a couple minutes over. And so I will open.